feet. So let's get into this T girl. We about to get into Ronnie. Prashan's ex. He is really upset. <laughs> he is so upset. Let's let's see what he's talking about, girl. They trying real hard, y'all. They trying real hard, y'all. They trying really hard, y'all. I'm not speaking until this back at 500. Send this out. Send this to everybody. They don't want me to tell my truth. They don't want me to tell my truth. That's not showing y'all enough. Where you at? Junior might be here, y'all. Allegedly. I don't know. As far as I'm concerned, he took the test. He took the test. And he is bluefus. He took the test. I, I don't know what else we got to talk about. The Kari bands. I need everybody to at the Kari. The Kari. Inviting the car, y'all. Yes. Yes. Yo, what's going on? I'm going to wait till Kari get in here and then we going to turn it up a notch. What's up, my brother? Yo, yo, yo. What's going on, Ronnie? How you doing, bro? Doing good. Right out of the barber shop. Fresh fades. You already know every day. Fresh fades. Yes, yes. Our barber. Yes, yes, yes. So, first and foremost, Almost want to say God is the greatest and God is good all the time. All the time, God is good, man. We give God all the glory every day, man. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. What, what, what so, are we here? Dakari, you were there when I got out of jail. Oh, my bad, yeah. 2019, correct? Correct, yeah, I was there. And, and me and Krishan were so stuck financially that we depended on, on you when I got out of jail for like a week or two, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You provided a, a house for us, a car for us to sleep in. You provided food stamps for us to eat. You even made sure I had medicine for my sickness that I was going through. Yeah. You were there for me and Krishan in a way that a lot of people are not aware. So I want to have you come up here because for one, you are somebody that the people know was just around her and you are someone who is very credible, right or wrong. Nah, facts, facts. Okay. So, all I want these people to understand is that the Zeus DNA test was court ordered. I mean, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Now, our attention span is about at a millisecond. You just told everybody everything they needed to know right in that moment, but it did. That was it. There's nothing else to talk about. Sorry. I don't think it was court ordered. It wasn't. It wasn't. It was, it was Zeus ordered, right? Oh, yeah. okay. So the paternity test that they took on Zeus was ordered by Zeus, right? Uh, we think so. And. and a paternity test 
is a federal document which has certain criteria and certain how can I say it has certain boxes that need to be checked off basically what I'm saying is it's a, a document that needs to be authenticated but it can be easily manipulated right I guess yeah definitely can okay, okay. so Anything can be manipulated okay so for all the rock tards all the rock tards speaking of all of the rock tards the dna test that was done on zeus was zeus ordered this was not a court court ordered dna test all right krishan jesus porter was born september 3rd 2023 all right. Am I right? Who knows, gang? Yep. He was born a couple of days before uh, before my son, but a different years. Okay. Okay. Virgo boy. Virgo, Virgo boy. Gang. Big Virgo. Big Virgo gang. Big Virgo gang over there. Over here. Big Virgo gang. All right. So, let me ask you this, Dakari. You seem... Let me... Let me let me think. Let me try not to put you in too much of a hot seat here. Oh, it's too late for that. But. I was back and forth between LA and Baltimore in late December 2022, right? I remember back then you even stayed at my crib back in the day. Okay. And I also was back and forth in early January 2023, correct? I mm -hmm. think so. Mm-hmm. Junior was born September 3rd, 2023, correct? Correct. I guess so. Eight months. So, so that, that means that Junior would have had to been conceived in what? December. Late January, December. January. Late December of 2022 or early January 2023, correct? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you something here. Oh, ain't that some shit? We can speed it up. Once again, I want to make sure that Krishan, Eugenia, Malone hears me loud and clear. This. Make this easier for me and make this easier for yourself by doing the right thing. You may be going through postpartum right now, you may be going through mental baggage of being a mother and not having a good, good role model of a mother. You need someone that will hold you accountable and that will help Junior get the proper care that he needs. At the end of the day, he's an innocent and he, he deserves to live a good life. Nice. So, I'm going to show you some receipts here, buddy. I'm not going to go too deep. I just want to show you a little something while we have the people here. Because it's to my understanding that no one wants to talk to me because I don't have receipts. But what people aren't realizing is I don't give a f about receipts. I care about getting Krishan Jesus Porter the proper oh, father. His father and the proper care that he needs. Right. This is messages from Terrain just talked to the camera guy. We still filming today. He's working with us. We need her at Chessa two thirty. Two thousand I got the date. You can see it here. See what that say, right? Terrain just talked to the camera guy. We still filming today. He working with us. We need her at Tesla's at 2.30. So, if this is her brother, can't guard PD, who do you think that he was trying to contact me about, Dakari? 
That sounds like he was trying to contact you about Sean. So, does this, this receipt show you that I deserve a real, and I mean court ordered, that is, DNA test? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't see what's the problem with it. At the end of the day, you got all the haters and people are upset. But it's like, to put everything to rest, we do a fraternity test. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, literally, you did one for Blue. Why there cannot be one done for Ronnie? Like, so simple as that. All I'm trying to get y'all to understand, and Carlissa, I'm glad you're finally here, because I've been trying to sit down with you and let you know that... I care, and I don't want your son to have his freedom taken away by him not being aware of the demons that are dwelling amongst him. Huh? And I also want people to know that I'm not clout chasing. I don't care about clout. I care simply about junior getting the proper care that he needs God. he is an innocent and he don't deserve to be manipulated and he don't deserve for his fate to be in the hands of someone that isn't for one accountable and for two responsible oh you want to take him away from Krishan? I wonder why men think after a woman held a baby for nine months, been the only one there for him for real. Has she been perfect? Hell no. But first mother dealings, here we are, right? The fact that he think he about to just take the baby away. Ah, <laughs> ah. Uh, uh. Nigga, so, you was yelling at us in the bathroom. I swear to God, nigga, I'm gonna kill you, nigga. <laughs> nah, but for real. Bump into blue face. <laughs> Friend, how you gonna take care of him? But got it, got it. You gonna hear him out? I'm not gonna go too much more into detail. I just wanted to get you up here and show these people why I deserve a court-ordered DNA test. So, for all the rock tars in here, I hope y'all can stop praising someone that has no morals, that has no principles. And I hope that y'all can hold them accountable. One thing about God... If you're going to keep talking about her like that, you think she about to do that? You think she about to, to give you Junior? He thinks she about to, like, go to court? Or whatever he is wanting you think? You could say it in a nicer way. Maybe she'll think about it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Maybe. Is that he's always there and he's always watching. And what he's not going to allow to happen is for people to manipulate his name and image for likes, views, and money. That's what we're not going to do. What did you need cuz for? That's what we're not going to do. We can't hear you, Kari. They silenced you, buddy. <sighs> so, all I'm saying is, if Junior was born in September 3rd, 2023, and I have right here, 
she's telling me to wake up because I'm in bed with his sister. He's telling me to wake up. Why? Because the camera guy needs Sean at Tessa's at 2.30. Yet, y'all want to tell me I'm clout chasing and I'm lying. Hey, can I say one thing? Can I say one thing? All I know is that, like, from the beginning, even when Ronnie was locked up, Krishan was so faithful to that nigga because it was hella niggas trying to f on her, bro. Hella niggas was trying to f on her, but she wasn't f on nobody during that time, bro. She was hella faithful to my to the to the homie, bro. Yeah, we know Krishan. That's old faithful. We know he she loved him. Yeah, yeah. Ronnie, why do you think you about to force her to do this? Like, why you think we can help you? That's my question. Why you think we can help you? We can't help you. We can't help you. Okay? We can't help you. As uh, I'm talking about, we can't do sh You're going to have to talk to her. She was hella faithful to Ronnie, bro, but when she got with Blue, she was not faithful, bro. Like, we all know this, bro. Like, she was not faithful, bro. Because she found for a sure, better sure. version of you. With the nigga that she was with in the beginning. And she... She told Blue by her own mouth. Wack knows this. Blue knows this. She was back and forth between Baltimore coming to see who? Her family, of course. But y'all think I wasn't in the mix of that? Like, y'all really that dumb? Y'all really that? Y'all really that rock tarted? That y'all gonna overlook the facts? I got concrete evidence right here for y'all. All I want y'all to do is hold hold people accountable so that Krishan Jesus Porter can have the life that he deserves and the father that he deserves. All I'm saying is I think that what happened was Blue told her to go get an abortion in the process of her going to abort his baby she got pregnant with mine and that's why she's scared to do a dna test i don't even have a comment watch my Yeah, if it really wasn't an issue, she would just go ahead and just do the test. Like, I'm not, this is not nothing to hate on Krishan. This is not nothing to bring Krishan down, bro. This is about making sure Junior gets the proper help and the father that he's deserved. And that's all this is about. This is about making sure that if Ronnie is the father, then he determined he needs a paternity test. If he's not the father, then he needs a paternity test. This is all this is. This is not to bash Krishan. This of isn't, here. this live is not about bashing Krishan. See, nobody. Right. It's not about this, bashing Krishan Rock. This live is not about bashing anyone. This live is about fulfilling the void and the mission that God has placed me on on this earth. If, if I don't hold Krishan accountable to a court ordered DNA test, she will never figure out who Krishan Jesus Porter's dad is. And Krishan Jesus Porter will never have a relationship with his biological father, which is not, not right. And that is not fair. That's not fair. That's it's not fair. right and that's not fair. So to every, every and everybody, to any and everybody in here that's watching, I'm, I'm not trying to do anything other than have a court ordered DNA test and hold the adults who were responsible for this young innocent life accountable for raising him and being responsible for him until he is an adult. Y'all don't gotta like me, y'all don't gotta love me, but one thing about it, I know God ain't gonna judge me. So, y'all could take it, y'all could leave it. Carlissa, tell your son, tell Wack, if they want to make this right, 
come and sit down with me. Let's fix this. Let's do a real DNA test and get it court ordered so that no documents can be manipulated and so that nobody can be tricked. Gang, I don't know if you, you maybe you, maybe you don't know. Bluefus, Bluefus Porter, he's, he's in, he's in prison. I don't think you, I don't think you. Now, Bluefus told us yesterday he gonna see us in July. I think he gonna have to see you in July as well, unless, um, you use his mama or whatever, but I'm just, I don't even know how that works. Maybe you could use his Faja or whatever like that, but you ain't going to necessarily be able to use him. That's for damn show. Um, not only that, uh, Krishan can't leave uh, where she at. Where Krishan at? Wherever Krishan is, she can't necessarily leave there. It's, it's court ordered too. So you will have to fly over there. Uh, to go see Krishan. And then her, his mother or his Faja would have to fly over to y'all. Um, and quite frankly, I don't think nobody is in the business right now of flying to each other right now. So what I would say is, you know what I'm saying, wait till Bluefus gets out of prison. Now, do you think, or do I think Bluefus is going to meet up with you? No. I think Bluefoot is going to get out of prison and go dive right into some vagina right before he got to go to Las Vegas. You get what I'm saying? Because he still got to go to Las Vegas. And quite frankly, how do I know all this? Because I've been watching and, mm, well, that sums up my little uh, seance. This industry is deep. <sighs> but God God is deeper. And I want y'all to know no matter what y'all may be going through in y'all life, right? God is, is always there for y'all. God is great. And God, God says, touch not my anointed. Okay. God says, touch not my anointed. Got it. These, these people have been playing with me for years and years and years. All I want is a cloud, is a DNA test. And all of this can be swept under the rug. That's Bro, Carla. This even just said you deserve the right to know. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, there's nothing wrong about what Ronnie is doing and wanting to have the right to know. All you clown ass people on here trying to hate and throw shade. No, bro. He just needs the right to know, bro. For even for a junior, bro, just needs the right to know what's up, bro. That is it. That is all, bro. It's no malice. It's, it's no hatred. It's no, no, it's passion, no malicious that, intent. No it's malicious no, intent. It's no, like, honestly. I feel like God is making me hold people accountable so that people are not manipulated by the devil. And that's something that is not, a lot of people not ready for that. That's another story. That's a whole nother thing. But one thing for sure, two things for certain. I was knocking down Krishan in December 2022. I was knocking down Krishan in January 2023. Krishan Jesus Porter was born September 3rd, 2023. So September I, 3rd or 30th? He was, a, see, he was a mature baby too. And he was born prematurely. The Zeus order DNA test states that in order for Krishan Jesus Porter to be born on the date that he was born, he had to be conceived in late December of 2022 to early January of 2023. I'm not going to go too much back and forth for anybody else. I've been trying to give y'all platforms a uh, exclusive, but y'all, y'all 
picking your own. They always want to give us an exclusive. I'm with it, though. Drop that T. <laughs> you mean? Way with it, and y'all doing what y'all want to do, so it's cool. We don't got to talk. I just want a court-ordered DNA test, and, and I want to hold adults accountable, and I want God to bless all of you, and I thank all, all of you for tuning in, and I hope y'all can have a good day. And I hope that this is not a hate Ronnie train or a hate Dakari train, but more of not a, that. Let's let's all hold ourselves come together help Junior. to help Junior. Like, let's not make this about Krishan Rock. This is about getting Krishan Jesus Porter the proper care and treatment that he deserves as an innocent. He does not deserve to have the rest of the life altered someone being unresponsible and neglecting him. And I just want to say to everybody... Did he said he was with her late Spiritual December. warfare is, is real. Make sure y'all aware of the energy that y'all have around y'all. And make sure that y'all understand that God is always there and that God will always protect you and God will always guide you even when you do or don't comprehend what he's doing for you. There were so many times in my life where, like, look at me. Like, I can honestly say it, like, this has been a heavy, 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 heavy obstacle in my life. But at the end of the day, it's our story. It's God's plan and I pray that instead of you guys neglecting the facts you guys can hold adults accountable and that's pretty much it people got to understand you can't hold adults accountable adults have to hold themselves accountable what's wrong with people why do people actually think that you could go to a person and be like be accountable, nigga. Like, <laughs> that's not how it works. Um, and quite frankly, it's it's just like if he actually think this is gonna work, then hell, I think he's immature as well. You know what I'm saying? Um, you can't go to one grabber. You know, definitely can't go grab. Blue face, I mean, this might be like a, a cry out for help. And hell, maybe he might be his, you know, his father, but I feel like um it's not the way to go about it. I mean, just yesterday he was vibing to Jaden Song and Blueface on the live. So I can't tell if he's trying to be funny or be serious. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below, girl, because this is a lot. All right, I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.